There are days when all I can do is lay in bed and twitch. I'm essentially paralyzed when that happens and I can't speak properly. I can't process my thoughts and I am in a substantial amount of pain. There are definitely days when I've wondered if I'd ever walk again. Most often the simplest tasks are the most challenging for me to accomplish. But nothing compares to the emotional impact of having to try and cope with a movement disorder like this. My name is Alicia McGill and I have dystonia. After nearly a year of being referred from one doctor to another, I was finally diagnosed with dystonia. I thought that I was making some progress, that I'd get some help. But then I found out that there was very limited resources available for people like me. And then I was back to feeling isolated. I used to feel ashamed of having dystonia. I would berate myself on a daily basis for the things that I struggled to do. I wasn't willing to admit to myself that I could not do the things that I used to be able to do. But giving up was not an option for me, so I had to make different choices. I started to educate myself on how I could help myself to persevere. I turned to the Dystonia Medical Research Foundation Canada and they have assisted me greatly through some of my most challenging times and I'm very grateful that they are there to support Canadians that have dystonia. I believe that I still have a bright future ahead of me. I'm determined to reach my goals and at this time I plan to move forward with my accounting career and hopefully attain my CPA designation.